Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. In this video, I'm going to attempt to force carbonate some beer with dry ice. On the face of it, it seems like it should be possible, right? Dry ice sublimates, turns to gas, under pressure, then it dissolves in the beer. I've got some friends coming over tonight, and I'm hoping I can get a couple bottles carbonated because it's only been conditioning for a day now, and I'd really like to have it ready here in the next couple hours. So I'm going to give it a shot. First thing I need to do, of course, is see how much dry ice I need. Now, I bought several pounds worth here in this bag because, I mean, you can't buy small amounts. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a small amount. Question is, how much? Well, let's go over to the computer. Trusty Excel can tell us how much. So the stats I found were for volumes of CO2. On the low end, we've got uh, 2.1 volumes of CO2. And on the high end, we've got 2.8. Now, how much is this actually of uh, dry ice? because, well, it's hard to, you know, weigh out gas, but I can put dry ice on a scale, so let's figure this out. We've got carbon and oxygen. Carbon is uh, 6, so its mass is going to be 12, because it's 6 times 2. Oxygen is 8, so that's going to be 16. And then CO2, so we need one of those and two of those, 44. Okay, and that's in, of course, grams per mole. A mole 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Uh, and it occupies 22.41 liters at STP. So, let's see, now I need to figure out how much that's going to be in ounces, because I'm dealing with ounces here in my beer bottle. A liter is 33.8 ounces, because half a liter is 16.9. We see that on a daily basis. So we're going to take this and multiply by that. 757 ounces is how much a mole of uh, CO2 gas occupies. Now what? Ah, so now I need to figure out how much uh, that equates to a, a bottle of beer, which is 12 ounces. So we got that there, and divided by that. So 17 ounces of liquid for a gram of stuff. A bottle is only 12 ounces, though, so it's going to be less than a gram. So we're going to take the 12, divide that by 17, and there's for one. Now that's one volume worth in a bottle of beer. So now I gotta take this number here and multiply it by that to get my low end at 1.4. I'll drag that over and do the same thing and my high end is 1.8 grams per bottle. Okay, not bad. So that's 10 grams. I need a fifth of that. It obviously does not like that. <laughs> There's two grams right there. Right there? That's two grams. It doesn't like it. Now how come... Of dry ice, right? Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Oh, no, it's not working. It might work. What are you doing? Force carbonating my beer. Oh. Well, that was a little messy, but let's see if we can do a little bit better next time. What's this one here? Nope. Not registering. Nope. Yeah, it's still. I, you can I feel like that's almost like a party trick. <laughs> see that down there in the bottom? It's still still bubbling. So that's that's two grams of CO2 in a bottle. I'm I'm shooting for 1.4 to 1.8. I don't have a powder scale. Uh, my friend's supposed to bring one later, so I can measure it accurately. But um, yeah, that built up a little too much pressure. Yeah. All right, but it's, I don't know if the water is carbonated. Just barely. It didn't, Just barely. It didn't hold. Hmm. It's like it's like flat Perrier. Well, darn. I mean, you got a really darn good seal on that too. If 
felt like I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah, you went all the way. Okay. Yeah. It just, uh, that was too much, too much dry ice. And that's why we need the powder scale. Yeah, because we were way over 1.8 grams. Okay. Done. Done. Good to know. Well, I'm a little disappointed that didn't work out. On the face of it, it seemed like it would. Under the conditions that I did it at least, it didn't work. I've thought of a few other ways that it could work, but they're far more complicated and really all I gotta wait is a couple weeks and then it'll all be ready. But at least now you know that given these basic steps, you cannot, at least in this method, force carbonate your beer with dry ice. Now Alex and I are just gonna go have a some fun with what's left over. Maybe throw it in the toilet and just make some, you know, witch's brew or something. But go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.